Hey everybody, I am Melissa Morrow and I am with Rave Home Collection. Hi, I'm Sue. I'm also with Rave. Hi. Yeah, so um, Teresa is still not here. Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh -huh. You guys are so mean. Um, she will be back with us, I think, tomorrow. I think she's on the schedule tomorrow. Um, she got back from Colorado a few days ago and she has been on quarantine since then. Give her a few days quarantine. And John's got his volume up too loud in the background. Probably should take mine and turn it down too, because I'm about to pop you on, make sure we can see questions as well. Okay, so we, um, on Monday, we asked the question if you guys would rather us go do another thrift haul, or if you would prefer that we just go ahead and make over some of the pieces we that we've had in the back. Pieces. And we were really happy that everybody said makeover because we have so much in the back. And then I don't know if you saw on our Instagram, but Sue and I did a little shopping yesterday. What's our Instagram feed name? Our, we are at Rave Home Collection. So um, yeah, so we did a little shopping yesterday. A little drive for a little shopping. And um, <laughs> behind us, uh, the girls are working real hard to get everything tagged and out on the floor. Ready so, for a look-see? Yeah, go ahead. Look quick, Pete. Say hi, Anna. Hi. So, um, and actually, I think that needs to come down just a little bit so we can see the table. Um, tilt it at an angle. Tilt it at an angle a little bit. Um, so I picked four pieces that we can kind of, yeah, that's perfect. So I picked four pieces that we can kind of, um, I think, batch out uh, during this, but still give them a nice, a nice look that's more than that's more than just base painting. So I'm gonna say, hi, Missy, I see you there. And hi, Michelle Finnemore. And uh, I think Sue and John are on there, obviously, because yeah, they're here. Well, I don't, I don't, I'm, Let's I see. guess I don't see everybody as, as you, you only get to see people you're actually friends with. I have to too. be friends with all of y'all. I don't even know if you want okay. me to do that. Okay, so I looked and I think all of these were priced at $4.99. Uh, yes, I believe, I believe. I believe, yes, this one was. So I know these two were, I'm not sure what you paid for that one, if it's got, still got a tag on it. But I know I took just took the sticker off when I washed these down. Um, they were all $4.99, and so I'll show you quickly what they look like. So this was like an early 1990s um, piece. I think I might have actually had this exact same piece in the 90s. They were <laughs> big in the craft fairs. And, um, it's probably made by someone like that. Probably made for somebody from somebody in a craft fair, and I had this hanging just like this, probably in Paige's room when she was a little girl. Oh, um, and then she would hang her little purses and stuff off of it, and her little whatever is on top of it. So, and then we have this one too. Looks roughly probably from the early '90s as well. Um, these are a little loose; they're screwed in, so I really just need to put some wood glue in there and tighten them. I'm not going to worry about that for the purposes of today. I will get them done before they're on the floor. All right, mine's a little more complicated on this one. It's so, a nice little kitchen shelf. Yeah, nice little shelf. Got a little place to hang your paper towels. And then, and then we've got this little laundry one. Up, oh, it's four ninety nine. Also, four ninety nine. I guess that's the average the price for price for these for, things. For the shelf. So, yep, this one's got a four ninety nine tag on it. Also. So this is a little laundry shelf, obviously. So what we're gonna do, this one still needs to get wiped off. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna batch all these out and paint them all duck egg. Oh, okay. Okay, so I know white might have been a popular choice, but I decided on duck egg, it has been a, a color that really sells well here. And a lot of people have the lighter white walls right now. Oh, and the, a little pop. And so the duck egg is a nice color and it's still, I mean, it's not totally neutral, but it's still pretty neutral. And then on these two, so you're gonna paint these two pieces today. Okay. Um, I'm gonna paint these two pieces today. Um, yours, mostly, you're gonna just paint this one duck egg. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna, after the fact, put some um, chicken wire or something in these little cabinets. A little something in there. A little something in there. And we'll probably add some like patina wax or antiquing oh, yeah. wax or something on it because I think that'll look nice. On this one, we're just gonna paint it the blue and then I've got some um, wood beam brown in here uh, by Bungalow 47, that's the, what we're using today. And we're gonna highlight those letters. Okay. Okay. So we could do black and white, super common, but I know a lot of people still have that blue and brown in their house. And so people who don't feel like they need to redecorate every time colors change still want stuff too. 
And then on mine, they're gonna be blue. Yeah, I need to. Yeah, you know, these some of these need to be glued and clamped. We will do that after the fact, I promise. Um, I'm gonna paint mine blue, but I'm also gonna add some stripes on mine and then add some transfers. Transfers where? Um, after I put the stripes on the top, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do stripes and duck egg and clawfoot tub tub. And then I'm gonna add some transfers kind of coming around with some flowers. Well, I'll be done. Make it really um, feminine. Very nice. All right, so are you ready to get going? I am. Teresa All right. just popped in. Who did? Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Teresa, don't replay the beginning of this video. You're, you're, I'll you're tell gonna, you, we were happy pick that you were here yet. Sue and John were being mean. I wasn't being mean. You just don't want her to have her job back. You weren't being nice. <laughs> Nice. Apparently she's enjoying your, your spotlight. It's fun. Who yeah. doesn't love this? And she yeah. likes it when people come in and say, oh, I watch your Facebook Live. And she's like, oh, I do that now. We had a fan come in last week. I like fans. Come on. Come in and visit. So now I'm going right. to say, I'm going to throw out my disclaimer. I did bring a pretty apron to put on. And I have makeup in the other room that I was supposed to put on before we went live. Where's your apron? Um, it's in the other room. There's an apron right here. Do you want it? Um, I've seen you paint. You probably need an apron. I probably do, but it'll be fine. Um, and, and and I was thinking that I would try to look good, but then we've been doing all this unpacking downstairs, and you always look good. Oh, thanks, sweet baby, mush, mush back there. But then I realized that we have so much work to do that I just didn't take the time, and before I knew it, two o'clock was here. Oh, it did come fast. It did come fast. So. Um, we have all this really great furniture downstairs. I'm so excited to put Ooh, our ads the store tomorrow. looks new, so if you've been in the store, come on by and see the changes. Yeah, it looks totally different now, um, which is always exciting for me. I always want people to feel like there's something new when they come in. And boy, is there something new this time. Because we also got a big order from um, Global Swap Shop, and they have amazing rustic stuff. Yeah, they got all the beautiful, what, the corbels, the arches? They got a lot of new arches. So week. many win of those great arches and windows and stuff. Um, customers have already been in today starting to buy those, so I don't think those are going to last very long, which always, always makes me happy. Find a nice, pretty place to go in somebody's home. Uh-oh, I might have to change my plans here. Uh-oh, why? I'm getting bleed. Oh, evil bleed. Evil bleed. So okay, so, so I'm going to quickly dry mine and get some of the Wise Owl primer. Because primer, I'll show you what's happening here in a minute. I was going to say, we're having a guest person in for Friday, but Teresa's been gone so long when she comes in, she'll be like a guest. She will be like a guest. She'll be like a whole new person. I like the color of the Wise Owl Primer. They have a Wise Owl Primer that's gray that looks like a, a, a gray blue. It's a really pretty color. I just want to paint with the primer. Is that what you're going to use today, the gray? It is. Woohoo! You guys will get to see it. Okay, so there's a chance it's nicotine and not bleed, but either way, it's not gonna work on my piece. Um, and if you think that you can ever you just, can just keep painting, oh, the light's not on. Um, if you, if you ever think that you can just paint right over that, can you see the bleed in there? Um, it's like right here, right? Yeah, the orangey. That's not gonna, you're, you, you can paint and you can paint and you can put another layer on and you will never cover it. It will just keep coming through. So, I actually had a giant piece that I used one time. And let me get the primer. Yeah. It's on the shelf. Does she have it over there? Get that clear white gold primer with your No, I want to go gray. The gray should be on the shelf. The gray. I've got another one. Okay. The no, search for the primer. The All right, I'm going to take out my little wobbly knobbly here. Separate. Keep it together. Paint myself. 
Yeah, she needs to open one too. We've got more. We've got yeah. We've got. Is, the, is that the primer? We've got plenty on the the rounds. We're busy in the store today, painting, unpacking. We got all kinds of projects going on. And so, they're all looking good for the weekend. So this is Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer. It is the best primer that I have found so far. Even if you want to use Bin or any of those. And I've been a bit Bin fan forever. I, like I have to go do some paperwork. Okay. So John is not going to be monitoring us anymore. You might have heard right. him just say he's got to go do paperwork. So I'm just going to catch this wherever it might have bleed through. So I was hoping mine would go super fast today, but I might not get both done. Now. But now I've got, you know, I got two extra coats. So, but hopefully I'll only one coat of bungalow over this then. I tell you, this this raw wood is just sucking up the paint. Yeah, and I think a lot of people see these and they're like, oh, heart, so country. And, and they just can't see them in any other way, which is part of the reason why I wanted to rescue these. Because I do think everybody thinks 80s, 90s country. And I don't think that, I mean, there's no way of getting out a shelf like this is gonna have some country, but I think we can turn it into farmhouse. Um, so. so it's less country, if you will, but it goes with a lot of more, a lot more of the modern decor. And I bet a lot of people have these sitting around in a garage somewhere. Dig them out, people. Go through your garage. Dig them out. Come on in and get some paint. Give yourself a little project this weekend. So how is everybody doing? It seems like there's been a lot of stuff happening in the news this week. Hope everybody's safe and well. Is that already going to be the question about the heart accent? No. Okay. Uh, Robin Robbins says, quick question. I see a lot of things with heart accents, which is not my favorite at all. However, the piece is perfect otherwise. What are suggestions to color the hearts? Hmm. Um, okay, so if you wanted to cover the hearts, which I'm not doing today, I'm, I'm, I'm using them as accents. But if you don't like the hearts, one of the things that you could do is you could get, like if I were doing it on this piece, you could get um, paintable wallpaper and I could cover this part and take the hooks out and then put the hooks back in and basically just cover right up over it. Oh, okay. And that would work. Connie Webster's here. You can also, hi Connie. Connie. You can also um, add planks over it, like That's like true. like almost like a wood That's veneer true. planking so, over it, so it looks a little more farmhousey. Yeah, give it that little barnyard, farmhouse. Right. Kind of like you see in a lot of the furniture where they've removed the lid, the lid, the top of them, the lid of the furniture. Shoot, you could probably do quick and easy and just get the the sticky floor tiles that are looking like the farm planks and just oh yeah, I bet you could yeah, like and that. then you could just use a razor to to cut around any curves or whatever. Yeah, that's probably true. You could do that as well. Did was that helpful? I hope that's helpful. But then again, do you like that look? I'll give you a couple of different suggestions. Something should. Sure. I knew you'd have an answer. Thanks. <laughs> We're all about seeing pieces in new ways, you know? Uh, Connie suggested metallic plates as well. What? Connie said, or metallic plates. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah that would be good, go. too. Yeah. Get, like, the, um, the tiles, those old tin tiles. Or you could, you could actually use... Um, Gorilla glue and put tile over it for that matter. Like if you like the me the Mexican Aztec tiles or whatever the get some pretty tile on there. Get some pretty tiles and and Make basically the tile them on. I like that idea. Delilah, are you Desiree's watching? Oh no, hi Desiree. Desiree! Last, last week we had we had the children. Today we get the mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everything's going well for you up there, Desiree. Keep, keep you guys in my thoughts. Missy Bain says nicotine is the worst. Nicotine is terrible. 
What is? Nicotine. Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that's sticky and icky. Connie's watching, too. Connie Webster. We know. We, we saw her. We, saw, we said hi to Connie. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the only thing good about nicotine is, and I learned this um, the hard way, I guess, was I had a piece that I was painting, it was a mirror, and actually my friend Chris ended up buying it for her daughter. Sort of funny. Do you remember this too? What's that? The big mirror that I painted. It was so pretty, it had all this beautiful detail. I do remember that mirror. And I guess it had a lot of nicotine, and um, the nicotine kept bleeding through. We tried priming it, and the nicotine kept bleeding through. We tried rewashing it, nicotine kept bleeding through. And finally we decided, okay, we're just gonna have to live with the nicotine. And um, when the paint all dried, it crackled. It gave it a really cool crackle. It was it beautiful. Was a really cool the, It looked like it had been antiqued because the nicotine kind of, kind of was like in between the cracks and then the white was kind of the crack part of it. Yeah, so that one, that it, it actually crackles. was, a stunning piece when it was done and it was overall all around the frame of it and and it was all just perfect it was perfect crack you couldn't ask for better crackle you that. couldn't it was it was the perfect crackle so apparently the key to perfect crackle is nicotine mm. Connie is asking I, I think Connie was the beginning what paints are you using and what colors are you using today so today we're using bungalow 47 um, to paint, and this was supposed to be fast batch out, and we were gonna do everything duck blue, but I have something that's bleeding through on mine. I don't know if it's the stain or if there's nicotine on it. Um, they've been cleaned. It doesn't feel sticky like nicotine, but it doesn't mean that it didn't soak into the wood because this is, this is um, basically only had an oil on it. So I swapped and went to the Wise Owl Gray Primer and I'm gonna throw two coats of that on these pieces first. And I uh, hope that that gets rid of my, my problem. Yeah, bleed through is a pain in the butt. Missy Bain says, that happened to her on one of her grandmother's pieces, but she decided to roll with it and use glaze to bring out all the cracks. There you go. There you go. Sometimes you gotta work with what you got. Yeah, I mean, it really, what, it, I, did yours create the really pretty crackle too? Um, that was that was really interesting. I, I had no expectation of that actually working out. I was really frustrated because it was such a pretty mirror. I thought it was going to end up just being garbage, but it actually and it didn't smell at all um, when we were done. So that was a blessing. Yeah, I think with as much paint and primer we put on it, we definitely covered up any odors that would leach out. Yeah, that's true. The odors were fine. The nicotine, not so much. What you gonna do? You know, as I'm looking at all the the sort of raw wood on the side here, I bet this piece would have been pretty doing the vintage texture like I, like I did with Carly the other day on that sewing machine. Ooh, yeah. I bet that'd be really pretty on here. I do like the texture. The texture is fun. And it's a great way if you have cracks in your piece and stuff like that that have been repaired, but are still visible, like they're not structurally a problem anymore, but they're still visible. It seems like it's a great way to hide those imperfections or make them work in your favor. Oofta. Oofta, how you doing over there? I am painting like a fiend. I want to get this thing done. Yours is coming along much faster than mine at this point. I haven't seen any bleed through, but then again, I'm not looking back at it to see what's coming on. Yeah, mine was evident, like, in the first few strokes that it was going to be a problem. I do feel like it might need two coats. Are we doing two coats today? We are doing two coats. Okay. Connie says, if the primer doesn't work, try Dixie Bell Boss, B-O-S-S. Ooh. It blocks stains, colors, etc. And Missy Baines replied to your question, yes, it was beautiful and full of cracks. Yeah. Nice. And I, I just love that effect, personally. Um, Connie, we're going to be carrying Dixie Bell. But not until July 1st. Um, we are going to be an authorized dealer at that. Well, we already are, but there's another authorized dealer in the zip code that is leaving at the end of this month. And. Was that bleed through already on your. 
Uh, I don't know. Can you? I don't know if that's where I put my fingers or if that's bleed through. That's where I put my fingers. Can you touch that? Up? I want to put my fingers. Am I doing the? I'm doing the inside, right? Yep, you're gonna do the inside. Ooh. Just a second, let me get. I keep sticking my fingers because it's so long. I have to move it. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and base coat this piece as well because this piece does look like it would get bleed through. Since you're getting it Since once, I'm, you'll get it twice. Oh yeah, pretty much. This is the piece I would have been worried about bleed through, and so I might as well just Probably go ahead and nip that. Nip that in the butt. Uh, I haven't tried the boss yet, but um, what was it? Uh, Anna was, I think I might have mentioned this last time we used it, Anna was mentioning that she'd had some cedar that she hadn't been able to, she tried the, several different primers and that hadn't worked. They were all still bleeding yeah, through and she, she tried, tried all the, the big guys. And then uh, she tried the Wise Owl and it worked perfect first time. So, so I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, yep, she's around here somewhere and she just piped in. Yep, it's awesome. I'm using it on everything. Now she's everything. using it on everything. There you go. Proactive. Alrighty. But this gray is really nice. The there's I love you, the color. You probably can't see it, but there's a long table behind us. And um, Sue primed that table with this. So that, you know, with the dining room tables, you want to take extra care because they're going to get scrubbed and stuff like that. So she sanded it, she primed it, and uh, and the it looks so pretty with the, the white that was there. It was like, we, she was like, do we really have to paint over the primer now? I had no idea it was a primer. It was such a pretty color. I was, I was looking at it, and the, the two went together so well. I was like, can't we just keep it this way? <laughs> Maybe another day. And here's how we're coming along on this. Zeb would be proud of the amount of paint on your hands. What? So Zeb would be proud of the amount of paint. That's Zeb would be proud of the amount of paint I have on my hands. Yeah. <laughs> you ever see the way he paints? Yeah, he's messy too. Quick. When you're quick, you're messy. Yeah. And you just kind of got to learn to glob it on a little bit. Don't be. Don't be stingy. Don't be stingy. I'm learning not to be stingy. Why are you stingy? I don't like getting all in my hands. Oh yeah, you are a bit of a prima donna on that way. Embrace the paint. That's where Johnny gets his his uh when he was like that when he would get stuff on his hands he'd be like. Ick. Yeah, our little Jin Zhao. <laughs> She's less that way right now. She get to see her tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Johnny's off getting her right now. So, um, and Johnny and Cassie and the boys moved into a new house this over the weekend. Cute little place, plenty of room for the boys to run around. Well, Jean-Luc to run around and the dog to the run dog around. The dog to run around. Fenced yard for the dog to run around. Really nice. Um, it was very nice coming home late last night because we didn't get home until like 11 o'clock or so. And as much as I love the boys, it was really nice having a quiet house to come home to. I love having them there. Love it. <laughs> but. Last two nights. So peaceful in the house. But I do. Yeah, nobody in the house. No. But, but there's a reason that children are given to young people and not old people. Because we are meant to play with them and give them back. And give them back. Spoil the heck out of them, sing to them, play with them, do all the fun things. We already did that. We already did all the hard stuff with our kids. Jamie's now, watching. From, yeah. uh, our old uh, Jamie Cleaver. Jamie! Hi, Jamie. I hope all is well in Texas. Did you have the new I baby? Hope the babies are doing good. Did you have the new baby? Let us know if you had the new one yet. Should have by now. My time goes by so fast. I, I have no recall on cute little babies time anymore. Cute little babies. 
Hopefully you're continuing with all your painting. You got the mad skills. Keep you busy out there. Yeah. Huh? No, don't. Okay, I'm just about done. I just got this this little section left. Ooh, this is a tiny little spot in here. I have apparently painted it, so there's no way for me to hold this puff. piece. You have a big glob. Yeah, over here Sue. probably. No, Sue Ann. I do? Come around the other side. Um, on the top. Up Under side pillow? of the top. Other side of the top. Under side of the top. Closest to the top. That's the top. You're, you're just no. confusing me. No, this is the top. I think the underside of the top. It's mm. all, I didn't want it to dry funky. Look, I'm, I'm painting that area. I want to dry funky. Okay. okay. So mine, I'm going to let dry here and see how we're done here. Give it a quick dry. Do you care that you didn't get all the paint? No, because that's just primer. Are there anybody out there who paints that likes to hum when they paint? I stick my tongue out. You're, you're a tongue sticker outer. I like to do weird music when I paint. Well, yeah. Life should be a musical. Does anybody like Bob's Burgers? Sue makes up songs like these. Is that, no, is that, yeah. Is that the one? I don't remember. I don't watch Bob's Burgers as much as you do. But I do love her character because she sings about everything. I'm not sure there's anybody who watches Bob's Burgers. Maybe he does. <laughs> Your son. Your son was like the one. Oh, okay. When I come home, there's four options that are on the TV. Bob's Burgers, The Office, Star Wars, or Woodworking. <laughs> if I'm coming home on the weekend, there is a chance it could also be Shawshank. Shawshank. Or Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers. Those are also possibilities on the weekends. Not during the week. Apparently those are his weekend movies. Those are Saturday mornings. Man. you got to watch the whole series. That's when you sit down and you can watch, right? If you watch Band of Brothers, you watch all ten episodes in a row. No piece of this then. You watch all ten hours in one shot. Uh, what's the largest size container? Um, of Wiseau primer that we carry. We carry the quart, and that's the largest that we carry. Um, if you want a gallon, I can order that for you. How long does it take to get in our gallon shipments? We have some, oh, general finishes also. We have someone asking about general finishes. Yeah, um, they come pretty quickly. Uh, I'd say just a few days, usually less than a week, because they're made in the USA products which I really like. Um, and on the Wise Owl, uh, I can also get that drop shipped from the company. So if you're not local, I mean, Missy, I know you're local. But um, if you're not local, uh, I can get it shipped directly from the company. So it doesn't have to come to us and then go to you. We can just send it to you. Uh, Robin, mm -hmm. Robin has commented. She likes to use the flashlight when she's painting. It helps her see anything that she's missed. Uh, oh, interesting. Yeah, a good light would be handy. We got, we got our overhead light. We got our, our sky lights here today. Every day. Yeah, that's the nice thing in the store is we do have a lot of actual natural light in here. I was trying to work in our little kitchen area to put things together, and we've got Jessica back there painting away on a desk. And that's the first time she painted in the kitchen, and our lighting back there is not as nice as it is in here. I like the sky lights. Except for when it's raining. Well, the rain is nice to hear. I like the sound of rain. It's just loud. Well, whatever. It's just loud it's when it's raining. raining. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting there. You're getting there? Good. Ness. So many little nooks and crannies. Almost done with my primer on this but I would like to, to definitely get something in these doors. It looks like they had some kind of a panel or something in here that someone took out. Um, I see the nails where something was placed in there. So I, I think like a, a nice little uh, 
thingamabobber in there, a little fencing wire. Gotta look in my stash and see what we have to put in there. What's with the conversation back there, guys? Chatty people. Apparently the internet is down, which you might be able to hear. I think we're on cellular data. Yeah, I think we are. So apparently we're going to have to do something about our internet for this. Gotta love internet service. Yay! We love it when the internet's down being a store. That used to happen in Orange Park at Linden and Russ on a regular basis. It was very annoying. Okay, Lord knows so it happens enough at home. I'm not seeing any bleed through on this whatsoever. Did you miss the sides on purpose? Of what? These? Well, I had it sitting up like this. Oh, okay. So, um, I'm not seeing any bleed through. And even usually with bleed through, you can see it initially bleed through the primer on the first coat, and then the second coat covers it. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and start painting this one. And back to the paint we go. And back to paint we go. And we're painting. And we're painting. <laughs> we're painting. Uh, we're mocking a, a pink song that you may not be familiar with. Who would not be familiar with pink songs? Well, that one's on our album. It was not, re it was not released for play. It is funny, however. Now that's, we and are we're moving moves. on. We're walking, we're walking is pink. All right. We got one coat on this one. Get the bottom of this. Well, it's technically the top of the door. I'll get that. I'm going to let this dry over there. Go to the next one, which I did not clean, so I have to clean that one real quick. Ah. It's pretty filthy. So, as always, hand in wet paint. Well, primer yeah. this time, but. As you know, I like to be covered by paint by the end of my episode. Who doesn't? You should probably leave that open, Suanne, so it doesn't dry and stick close. I have to move it out of my way. We like oh, to move it, move it. then I'm going to have to paint this thing. We like to move it, move Set it. Set that aside for now. I will paint that later. Oh. All right. You, scoot. <laughs> hard to paint upside down for people and backwards <laughs> like painting for you guys to see. I don't even bother trying to be polite about it. I'm just going to paint. You all get what I'm doing, right? I'm not teaching you a technique. Did we buy that? I don't even remember buying that. What is it? Do you remember buying that? Where'd it come from? I mean, I have to assume it's one of our boxes. I wonder if we bought something else and... Grab the wrong box. Oops. <laughs> Some assembly required, Lana. That's how we hammer around here. Bang that little puppy back in the spot. You could have left it loose and you could have glued it. It can still come loose. <laughs> Everything comes apart and gets put back together again. I got no problem with Holly that. Holly Johnson's watching with us. Holly! Miss you! Hi, Holly! Hope everybody's doing well. So I was contacted by the radio station today asking when we can start coming back in. Coming back in. So I guess it might be time to go back to the radio show. What do you guys think? I miss the radio show. Monday morning chats. Well, yeah, I don't know if they'll be able to do it on Monday morning. I mean, they, they mentioned Monday mornings. I just don't know for my calendar now with everything that happens if I can do Mondays. But, um... You see a struggle to get back here by 2 for your show. By 2? I have to be back here... She got to be here I by noon. I have to be here by noon for my coaching. How were you doing coaching before? I was, I was usually doing it on the phone. I mean, I would get there because I was done by 10.30. Melissa does 10. business coaching for Sagers. Yes. Um, Monday's just such a busy day. I might see if I can do it on Tuesday mornings, but 
What do you think? Did you guys, did any of you watch my um, lives when I did the radio show? Do you like the radio show? Anna, Anna is nodding her head yes in the background. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like the Kate radio show. Kate said she liked the radio show too. You know, talking about staging. <laughs> Real estate. Real estate and what's Disney. going on in the world, the colors that people use in their homes. Only Missy says, only if it doesn't conflict with your lives. Yeah, I'd make sure it doesn't conflict with the lives. <laughs> um, I mean, those would be, I guess, additional lives, right? Uh, pretty soon my whole life will be live, like Gary Vee. Um, Ed TV. Ed TV. One of your favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that one in a long time. Um, what was I just going to ask the question of? Um, Conflict? Oh, has anybody caught our podcast yet? Has anybody subscribed to our podcast? I don't even do that. Yeah, we have a podcast now. Um, anywhere that you get your pod download your podcasts, we are there as the rave stage. It is a podcast um, about business. Not necessarily specifically about staging. Not necessarily specifically about real estate. Not necessarily specifically about real estate. Huh. Well, I might have to tune in. So even if even if your business is completely different, you may enjoy that. So I think we have five or six episodes out right now. Um, on on this particular. Uh, piece that's got the shirt and the shorts for the laundry. Would it be all right if I added a different color for the shirt and the shorts? Maybe. Because I don't know how many Stardew Valley fans are out there, but mm -hmm. I would like to paint the shorts purple. <laughs> and for those of Paige. you who do play Stardew Valley, you will understand. Paige and, Paige and Johnny Ray would like <laughs> Judy Comer's watching with us. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. Oh, paint, 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 paint. So, Didi, I saw you guys were doing um, Facebook auctions live. Oh, yeah. That looked pretty cool. I haven't looked into that yet. So I that, hope that, I hope that went well for you. That, that, that's a neat way to get out there, especially when people aren't coming into stores because we all need to take care of ourselves these days. Looks like you have to be super organized for those, though. So <laughs> that, might have, that one might have to be on somebody else's plate because, as we all know, organization is not my specialty. No? You're not part of the uh, union of professional organizers. I am not, nor will I ever be a member of the professional organizers association. No. Uh, no. Not because there's anything wrong with them, just because they would have to kick me out because I couldn't organize my way out of a paper bag. And we've seen that. <laughs> yes, we have. Um, if you look anywhere in my life, anywhere in my life you will see a distinct lack of organization the artsy types are, are, are typically the struggle that's true that's true i could just blame it on my crafting bag because, uh, you're just not wired that way i'm not wired that way i i have i have a deep desire to be very well organized i just would absolutely have to have somebody else do it for me So Kate's, Kate's volunteering in the background. I'll do it. Um, yeah, uh, the staff has already learned that they have to come behind me and clean up after me. Got to keep an eye on her when they're, she's wandering around. They're all laughing right now. They've all learned to keep an eye out while they're wandering for my cell phone because I probably sat it on a table somewhere while I was taking a picture of some, t took a picture of something Decided to reorganize something else, sat it down, and walked away. Did you Did you ever find your your tape measure downstairs? I did. Okay. It was on the. Want to know? It was on the um. The display window. Show. There you go. I'm always finding your tools on the display window shelf. So I'm going to suggest you look there first. I'm really bad about these things. Is there anybody else as bad at organizing as I am? Would love to have an organized life. It just doesn't feel meant to be.
Okay, since this is dry now, um, that primer is still drying. I'm gonna get started on some stripes so we can do something besides base for you today, because how boring. Okay. All right, get on to the exciting part. Let me just get some of these little pegs finished. Apparently I missed some spots there. Some of these little pegs. But even those I can finish up later. They keep spinning around, so it makes it hard to, <laughs> to spin as you paint them. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to try to do this kind of upside down so you can see it. This is going to be a lot like we did the, what did I paint the other day? The suitcase. The suitcase, yes. Um, Which, by the way, they look fabulous today. They really do. So I've got a heart in the back, so I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to measure basically off this heart here. And I'm going to make this stripe my middle stripe, which is actually I'm going to lift this one. Okay, so I'm going to then do a stripe on either side. Can you guys see? Yeah, hopefully you can see. I probably would suggest waiting a little bit longer for your paint to dry. Oh, but I'm, I'm going to distress this anyway, so if any of it lifts up, I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm like basically I'm using tape as a spacer at this point. I'm gonna line that up real nice. Yeah, John, this one's falling apart again, so you definitely have plenty of plenty of glue availability here. Yes, you probably did just see me stick my tongue out again because I'm thinking and measuring and that's what I do. And I still haven't figured out if that's an evolutionary trait. You didn't get any. I'm any. gonna I'm gonna start paying attention to to nature shows and see if maybe macaques or something are sticking their tongues out while they're while they're thinking while they're thinking. Chimpanzees as they use their tools are they sticking their tongue out? I don't know. this one so that means what am I doing with the other one I'm just gonna do two coats and that's it two coats and then you're gonna do oh and that and then we're gonna just distress it yeah okay and then we might antique it Ooh. all right all right I got one coat on here so now I've got a I think that should have been dry by now right should have given that plenty of time yeah a couple of wet spots here and there where I'm gonna hit it up with the heat gun And today I went with a little wider stripe, partially because of time, and partially because I just like the the wide stripe sometimes. You know, I don't think it always needs to be the little skinny stripes. So I'm pushing these down kind of to wrap around the front. Okay. So now I have my nice stripes, right? So I'm gonna take, I decided I'm gonna do these in uh, the stripes in clawfoot tub. I don't think I've ever, oh no, I did use clawfoot tub the other day, didn't I? Yeah, you might have. Um, so this is like a yellowy cream. It's, it's an off-white, but it's kind of more towards the yellow side of off-white. Um, it's one of my favorites, personally. So I always go over the stripe first. And again, if you're really worried about bleeding on this, um, this frog tape, this green tape versus the blue tape, tape does seem to be really good about not bleeding but if you're worried about that then you can always go over with either clear or the base coat which in this case is the duck egg blue and i'm going to try to get just kind of a nice a nice thick line um like i don't want it gloppy but i i don't want to have to do two or three coats so i'm trying to make sure um this is pretty heavily pigmented so even the cream going over a darker color seems to get really nice coverage but again i will do a little bit of de-stressing okay. any comments john it's all quiet nope. out there no nope, but um i think we're having viewership problems because of the uh oh 
are we having internet issues? I mean, I know we're having internet issues. Lack, but... of, lack of Wi-Fi. Oh, John doesn't have the internet. I mean, you're probably using internet versus your white. Uh, I'm using Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm okay. using uh, cellular on my phone, but our viewer numbers me? keep jumping up and down. I think it's because <laughs> we're dropping in and out because of the Wi-Fi. Gotcha. Linda, Linda, are you still watching? Hi. Who? My friend Linda. Huh? Way out in California, eh? So, and so you know, the reason I started with the middle instead of starting off the edge is because I really wanted this to be centered um, off of these hearts, basically. I wanted to be sure that I didn't ha also end up with like one really skinny stripe and a big stripe on the end. So because of the way this piece is made, I really wanted to start off in the middle and I, I just think that's a better way to kind of do it, so. I feel like I need to be using water. Uh, to you can spray it. I'm going to spray that over here. It's very dry. You got it? Yeah. As with any, as with any chalk feet, um, if you feel like your brush is dragging, then you probably want to add water. The chalk dries up in the bristles pretty quickly. Um, even on our cleaning brushes, which are meant to be used wet. So if you feel like you're having that issue, then you should go ahead and just spritz a little bit of water. I love spritz. I love these little spritzers. They're very nice, fine mist. The secret them hairdressers don't tell you about is they're cool bottles. Right? I mean, there's probably a lot of secrets they don't tell us about, but that is one of them. True. Okay, so now, have you guys seen the posts or the furniture where you've got these nice stripes but then like the bottom of them are faded if you have then I'm going to show you how that works I see is that Donna I uh, can't see last name so hi Donna Donna hi um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my base coat again I'm going to I'm going to um, spritz my uh, brush a couple times so it's a little bit moist. Sorry for those of you who have issues with that word. <laughs> the word moist. The word moist. And I'm just gonna basically blend the, the base color back over my stripes. I'm gonna use some water on here. And then I'm gonna use my brush that I did my stripes with the bay, the ivory, it got a little bit wet. I'm going to blend, blend these two together so that it's got a nice smooth line. I want to be sure there is some blue in there. Just get a really nice soft blend. Okay, so can you see that we've just got a nice soft blend right there? And then I'm gonna go ahead and, hey guys, can you take that elsewhere? And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these right off. John, can you guys take that elsewhere? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Little chatterboxes. Now I did get a little bit of the ivory over here while I was blending, so I'm just going to touch that up a little bit. A little bit of pull from my tape. There we go. How do you like the stripes? Oh, awesome, this awesome. one. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, See how it's got a kind of a fade at the top a little bit? How do you like it overall? Kind of got a little bit more French look to it now, I think. Do that side, that side looks done. Do that side, that side looks done. The worst it is. Did you see that? Did you just see that? I just stuck my uh, whatever. Did, would you put your hand on the wrong side I of the brush? Just grabbed the wrong side of the brush. Oh my gosh. You're now hold that. Okay. Now you're getting to be as bad as me. I think I'm going for worse. I, 
I just want to keep grabbing the bristles. How are we doing? We're good, I think. You got about 10 minutes. Well, then we're good, maybe. Paint maybe. faster, paint faster. Paint faster, paint faster. Maybe. Shh, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold these little things in still so I can paint them because they keep rotating. Maybe is somewhat and maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna um, gonna let that dry naturally for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and do some. Oh, missed missed a whole side over here. I'm gonna paint that side first. Oh, Joan, point that out to you. No, I had it standing on there, and I painted the one side. And apparently, forgot to paint the other side. What to do with you? I know. It's a problem. That's a whole side. It's not like oh, it was like a little rung. What is she spraying? She's spraying water. Um, and basically, when you spray water on chalk paint, it makes it easier to blend. So even though she's not blending another color in, she's just putting a second coat on, it makes the brush drag more smoothly and makes a more flawless coverage. Yeah, because the dry, the dry paint definitely has a drag. And it's kind of how you keep chalk paint from getting chunky. Yep. We'll go over those techniques, right? Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and just do some light distressing here. Light for me, anyway. Might be heavy for some of you, but for me, it's, it's light. Because I really love a good, a good chippy chippy. Chippy chippy? Now you see there's some holes on the side. I will go ahead and... Um, put some filler in those. Hey, John, can you hit the um, the clothes on there? What do you got? Oh, you got it. Why is your battery always low? Well, did they do the top? That shit. I'm going to give this a quick... And how do you like it so far? We're doing all right. inspiring y'all to dig through your, your garage and giving things a second look. Walk around the house and say, you know what? I could paint that. Now I'm wiping this down with a very lightly damped rag because if it was a wet rag, it would actually would pull it up and start wet distressing, um, which isn't necessarily what I want to do. But I do want to try to put a couple transfers on here. And I don't think I have time to top coat, which would be my recommended uh, process. Let's see how chalky it feels. All right. I think chalk. I'll be okay. What? It's in it feels chalk. It feels chalky. Well, I mean, it is chalk paint. It is chalk paint. So there is that. So I have Lavender Bush um, Prima Transfer. Fun. I don't and, think I've seen that one yet. And, no, I don't think we've opened this one yet. And I chose this one because like when you get them on the back, it shows kind of how the layout is. And this one has like a bunch of, a bunch of groupings of flowers, which work really well as transfers on some of these bigger pieces like this, or I should say smaller pieces where I just want a couple of flowers. I don't want it to completely take over. Robin just commented, and I'll never thrift the same. I look at things differently because I think of painting it. Exactly. Yay. Yeah. Exactly. What can I do with this item? 
What's terrible is leaving the neighborhood today. I saw a pile out in front of You somebody. saw that too, did you? <laughs> it's like, is that a desk? <laughs> it's like, good God. What kind of a hurry am I in? I, yeah, I saw that too, and I was like, hmm. And then I was like, Melissa. <laughs> Natalie Spencer says, I know I'm walking around my house saying, I'm going to paint that, 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 that. that, that. that. I love that they all, they have all the, and then she goes on to say that she loves that we have all the paint she needs. We got it all. Natalie, did you see that I sent you the measurements on those chocolate sets? Oh, those are the new pieces that came in. Ooh, we're going to have some pictures up for the everything that come in. Yeah. Everybody's getting them out right now, so they'll be... So this one I want to come over the edge, so I'm kind of placing that part first, so you can see it's going to go on this little edge and kind of come over. And so this piece kind of, I'll say, went from 90s country to like farmhouse or French country. There you go. It's all about the colors. Was it 90s or was that 80s? No, I'm, well, I'm thinking that it could have been 80s, but I'm thinking that we had the kids because we had it in Paige's room. We had, those are pretty big when we were living in Hawaii, weren't they? Yeah, so they, were, yeah, they sold a lot that in Hawaii, been, so I'm thinking it's really 90s. 90s. Yeah. Really need to get in those little cracks and looks. See, it's got all these loose flowers and it's got a lot of script too and I love transfers with scripts. Words you don't understand but there they are. That's exactly right. Words that I don't understand but there they are. And Penny Webster said she's looking forward to the two classes later this month. Yay! Okay. I'm about ready to print or do a third here in the next day or so. I already have it. Uh, laid out. I just got to get it on the calendar. I was trying to put them up yesterday while we were driving, but then I ran into the issue that um, I didn't have a good enough connection while driving for the links to properly work, which is how we ended up with the wrong link on the class the other day. <laughs> it was trying to upload the pictures, upload the pictures, and anyway, it was a little bit of a mess. So the link is correct now, but I figured I'd wait till I was in the office and had good internet. And obviously that didn't work because, well, our internet is spotty, right? Yeah. Apparently Comcast is not playing the game today. Okay. So again, I'm wrapping this around a little bit to wrap around so I'm kind of choosing my layout based on the wrap because this is a shelf so the wrap to me was important. Might I have some heat? You'd like some heat? Bring on the heat. just how easy transfers are. Um, I just basically cut it out and stuck it on here, kind of rolled it out with my hand to make sure it's, it's relatively stuck on there. And then I'm just going over with my stick. to it's called burnish it basically rub it down really well to make sure that it's all nice and stuck on there and then I will do a top coat so this is my little shelf and I'll probably put a couple little flowers down here too what are you guys thinking let me see let me see Ooh, I like it I like it 
I have a couple little flowers. Um, I will put a top coat on it. But I got a couple little flowers I'm going to add down here. If I can undo this thing. They don't need to be everywhere. And I try to be sure that they're random, that they're not too like, oh, one in between each thing. And because I haven't top coated this yet, I have bumped a couple times and added some extra distressing. <laughs> Well, that was just very clever of you. Right? But again, I always love distress. So you can just see I'm adding some little flowers. They're like all different sizes and stuff. Got the music on in the store in the background, and all I want to do is get up and dance. This is your song. This is my jam. Sue's jam. Rhythm of the night. I feel like I should have a beer in my hand, and I should be an idiot on the dance floor. But you know, I'm getting a little old for that. Mm -hmm. I shall not comment. You shall not. On my age or being an idiot on the dance floor? I shall not comment on that. <laughs> I love you. All right. All right. It's been about an hour, guys. Well, okay, we're just about there. What's that got to do with anything? I'm just letting you know. We don't ever want it to end. Yeah, because as soon as we're done, we got to go back to putting the crap out and building stuff. Yeah, and I get to do the building stuff, and you get to put the crap out. Oh, man. There, what do you think? I touched it. Just a little bit of flowers. Should I add another one to this side, balance it out? I have to do some touch-ups when I'm done. I'm trying to get this so I can show you guys how the brown looks. Can I just say that being in glasses is... Not good when I can't see. There's little tiny little things I can't see. It is frustrating sometimes to not be able to see even though you're wearing glasses. Like I can't see up close. Why can't I see up close? Everything's fine. You're good there. Obviously I'm not. OCD says yes to balance. Yeah, mine kind of did the same thought. Oops. What's that? <laughs> Wasn't me this time. No, nope, for whatever reason it. It decided it likes to stay. Decided it liked to stay on there. Let me fix that up. Um, no, nope, can't. Okay, I'm just not worry about that. We'll make that look purposeful. So. What happened is, I don't know, I must have been in too much of a hurry and I ripped my transfer a little bit. My rows ripped in half. So I'll show you, I'll show you how I still managed just to use it. So I turned it over. So basically the rose just was down and kind of like it was coming off. So anyway, this is this piece. And I'm basically gonna do a similar thing to the other one. I got to top coat this one and I got to glue some loose bits together. Thank you, get some of the sanding done. How are you doing, Sue? I can show you where I'm at if you'd like. Yeah. I've been, got the little artist brush out and I've been trying to do the little words on there so they stand out. And I really am going to go ahead and add a little color on the two pieces of clothes on either end because <laughs> it needs it. A little pop of something. A little pop of something. And we'll probably distress it a little. Maybe add a little dark wax. Yeah, it'll look real good. So we'll get pictures up on uh, our finished product. Seeing how we're running out of time today. Yep, yeah. Um, so we will. We'll get um, pictures up on our Instagram and Facebook feed. And we really appreciate you joining us. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 o'clock is when we're live. And of course, you can also find us on YouTube 
Um, on YouTube, we are at Rave Home Staging. So YouTube forward slash Rave Home Staging because we just added that to our staging channel. And, and sadly, this, 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 well, you'll see me in the background, but I won't get to paint anymore. Yeah, Teresa will be back will for be back. our Friday Fab Furniture Friday. We are happy to have her coming back. And hopefully internet will be better. Some enough. people will be happy to have her coming back. I mean, you can still come on if you want. You want to you wanna work with Teresa for a couple days and, <laughs> and I'll take the time off? Does she want to take work with me? Okay, guys. Thanks again for joining us. Um, we'll post pictures. Uh, see you later. Bye. Bye. Have a great day.